Hey guys, Ed here. Today we have Chevy Traverse. In this quick video, I'd like to show you how to check oil and fluids in this car. So let's start. First of all, we're gonna pop the hood. Find the latch, move it to the left. Oh, to the right, I'm sorry. Okay, guys, so let's start with the most important part, with uh, our motor. Okay, before we, st we start it, I have to tell you something. You always want to make sure the car was heated up to operating temperature, and then you have to let the car cool, turn, turn it off, cool it down till like 15 minutes, and then you can check your reading. Okay, so that's what I did. My car is up to, middle, up to middle, and 15 minutes passed, so now let's check the reading. Now, here we have the crankcase cap okay that's that's where we're gonna put oil in case if we have to and this is our dipstick motor oil so what i'm doing here i'm gonna push you guys here on this thing here and get the dipstick out so, so i got the dipstick out i'm just drying it off the reading doesn't matter now dry off the dipstick put it back in spot the place and till the end and then pull it out and check out the level okay so i see my level right here as you can see it's on the lower notch okay so this is where it is it should be on the over here in the middle okay this is not a big deal but it just means that you have to add a little bit oil uh, it is normal that the car eats some oil when the car has more miles that's that's pretty normal that you have to add a little bit of oil in between the oil change so i don't have oil on me right now but uh, in case if i well when i'm gonna do that i'm gonna just open this cap okay and put the funnel and pour some in it's, go it's gonna take just a little bit of oil and it's gonna be fine i would say it's gonna take maybe quarter of quarter okay Okay, that's that's what's up with the motor oil. Uh, here is the velocity you should use. So when you buy oil, just get in motor oil, 530 velocity. Good. All right. Next step. Uh, so transmission. Transmission also same thing. It should be checked. Why either on working, either on hot transmission. Okay. So here is our transmission cap. That's actually a cap here. Yeah, we have to screw it and then we just pull it out so we have a same dipstick like the engine pretty much same thing just transmission and the oil should be red color okay so i'm gonna push you guys here for a second we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna just dry this off get the dipstick in and get it out and what do we see here good it's, it's up to hot sign here it's a little bit more than we have to have but uh, it's still fine the condition of oil i don't like okay it's it's brownish so if i'm gonna just dry it off it looks brownish it should be red okay uh so that should be changed okay so same thing if you have to add some you just put a funnel and add over there next thing uh coolant okay here's our uh, coolant reservoir just open up take a look and there should be readings okay so reading uh, coolant should be up to here somewhere there should be a sign okay full right, right there that's a full sign so it's up to there uh the radiator cap is right, right here okay this is the radiator cap make sure you don't open this when the car is hot okay because if the car is hot uh if you open the radiator cap you're gonna get boiling antifreeze in your face and that's going to lead to injuries so make sure you don't do that uh, check your owner's manual for the specific coolant the car uses but in extreme situations if you have to go from point a to point b short drive you can use any coolant or um, water just regular water you can use uh, but again don't leave uh, the water in the system if it's uh, above if it's below freezing freezing temperatures okay because it will freeze and uh, the ice will expand and you might crack something so you don't want to have that next thing uh, is windshield washer fluid same thing you just open it whenever you need windshield washer i can actually see windshield washer from, from here 
Okay, it's good. Uh, yeah, whenever you need it, open it, pour it in, close the cap, you're all set. Also, in extreme situations, you might use regular water, and the end again. If it's below freezing temperature, don't leave water inside. It's gonna crack the reservoir. Okay, brake fluid right here. Okay, same same exact thing. Here we we have next sign with the uh, with the arrow okay which points where the max should be as the cap says use dot3 brake fluid open up you have fluid good close the fluid you all set keep in mind that uh, brake fluid doesn't evaporate and if you are missing i mean like substantially missing brake fluid means you're leaking somewhere and if you leak too much you will lose brakes and you obviously don't want to have that so keep that in mind to check on brake fluid and make sure you're always on low next thing uh, is there are oh the power steering fluid okay this car doesn't have a power steering fluid since it's electrical power steering pump okay another thing is uh, differential fluids and transfer case fluids those we can't get from here that's why that's something for mechanic to do and also the Freon. The Freon is uh, also the system is under pressure and if you're not mechanically inclined you shouldn't really uh, touch AC system okay because you might do damage to the car or harm yourself okay otherwise uh, brake fluid, windshield washer fluid, uh, transmission fluid, engine motor oil and coolant you can do yourself and so that's something you can do Okay guys, hope this helps. If it does, please press like button and have a great day.